Morning, folks. Um, it's a particularly ugly morning. Uh, I wanted to get this done a little bit on the early side since there's no real economic news until the 945 release of the S&P Service PMI. Um, and I wanted to address a couple of issues. This is your pre-opening comment for Monday, the 5th of August, and it is video number 2216. Asia is down over 12%. Europe is lower. Everything is lower. The chart on the screen is the S&P, which I thought might have a little bit of a snapback back from this uh, maybe 5375, uh, 50, pardon me, 52.75 area that I mentioned last night. Uh, but has fallen straight through, is currently trading at the low, and is uh, down almost 200, 194 and a half, which is 3.6%. I want to explain something, and I posted it at 3 o'clock this morning on both the Discord page and WhatsApp, and it, uh, I think if you don't understand um, the... Jap Yen carry trade. This is a simple but complete explanation uh, that really makes it very understandable. Um, I want to relate this back to what happened to Bill Ackman when he was short Herbalife, and I think that he was absolutely right. The problem is that when you're short, and people know it, uh, the technical issue of if people buy the stock, it doesn't matter whether your story is right or wrong, and Ackman learned that in spades, cost him a couple of billion dollars and a big chunk of his reputation, which uh, he had to fight very hard to get back. The Japanese carry trade, the Jap Yen carry trade, is unwinding and that unwind is going to cause has already caused an avalanche of selling um, what you have to remember is that uh, selling in this extreme where you have uh, the sixth largest economy in the world with their stock market down 12 and a half percent is going to cause ripples everywhere as you can well see Beyond those ripples, it is also going to cause more selling, more margin calls. And so um, we're in kind of a negative feedback loop here. Um, uh, what I find interesting is these some of these morons who are on CNBC this morning talking about, um, you know, things like the consumer who, uh, you know, they're, they're making their story fit the scenario and it's really unfortunate because the scenario of a weaker and possibly getting much weaker consumer really vibrates through the entire economy. Um, you know, there are people who are talking about refinancing mortgages because rates are collapsing. Um, you know, that's an interesting story if you think that your job is secure and that you're going to continue to be employed. And, um, you know, these are not things that are totally assured. We're also seeing massive changes in earnings expectations and a lot of misses and frankly a lot of decent earnings where the stocks acted poorly. Good news and bad action is a clear sign. Uh, we have a series of lower highs and uh, you know this is the S&P. Let's take a look at some of the more risk oriented uh, assets. For example, here's Bitcoin. Bitcoin down almost 20% complete collapse back through what I thought would be decent support. Down here at 54,000, 
uh, it has traded today as low as 49.3. Um, and it, we're seeing uh, the possibility of a negative crossover on the daily today. It doesn't really surprise me, but it has had a series of lower highs. Um, looking at it on the uh, weekly basis, it's a little more obvious. We have a high, a lower high, a lower high, a lower high, and now a break. So, um, you know, that's just one of them. We have the silver, which we traded last week, which, um, you know, gold made a new all-time high and uh, then started to come in a bit. The silver never got there. Silver made a lower high. And while we had a great trade uh, last week on this rally, it was a rally to another lower high. It was a lower high, lower low, as you can see in uh, my commentary over the weekend. We are down here at, uh, you know, uh, 2680. This is an area of some major support, uh, but I'm not sure I'm going to play it yet. Not not until I see how some of this settles out. Um, Buffett sold uh, half of his Apple position, and uh, this morning uh, we have uh, Google down six percent, Apple down eight percent. Um, Pardon me, Amazon down eight percent, Apple down eight and three quarters percent, down eight and a third percent on uh, Meta, down five and a half percent on uh, Microsoft, Netflix lower. Uh, how about Nvidia, which is now trading at ninety two forty two, and um, that is thirty percent down from the high. The high there was a high, uh, actually more. Uh, its uh, high was just under 141. The last is 92. So uh, that, that's, you know, a pretty ugly move. Uh, the rest of the uh, futures are uh, substantially lower. The Dow's implied open right now is down 12 hundred and thirty four the Nasdaq is down eleven hundred and three so this just keeps on uh, getting worse the gold is down forty five dollars the oil is down a dollar thirty eight the rest of the distillates are down uh, and that gas is below 190 and uh, 160 uh, you know is certainly within its sights uh, because interest rates are substantially lower we have the bonds up one and a quarter percent at 126 and change we have weakness in the dollar dollar is down 77 cents at 102 and change uh, so uh, you know um, my big question is, what's the Fed waiting for? I mean, it doesn't want to scare the market. Guess what? That bus left the station. Uh, you know, they've missed that opportunity. And I think it would, uh, you know, this is, this is not unusual for the Fed to make moves when it finds it urgent. And, uh, you know, maybe today isn't urgent, but if we continue tomorrow, you know, it will be. This market is scared. And as I said, the technical issue of having um, something that is unwinding, that is causing more and more selling to beget more and more selling and then margin calls, this is a serious situation and frankly, it needs to be addressed. All right, folks, sorry for the bad news. I'll be back later. Oh, uh, be sure and take a look at that TikTok on uh, the Jap Yen carry trade that's posted. Have a good one.